Hey you guys, welcome to Mal and Candace Rants, Reviews, and Randomness. I'm Mal, this is Candace. Say hello, Candace. Hello, everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, we're back, it's Wednesday, so we're here talking to you. How was your weekend? It was good, I didn't, it was regular, I had shows. Got some work done. Started watching season one of Games of Thrones, so now I can kind of start to catch up. I don't think the both names are plural. Games is of Thrones is. That's mm. what I said. <sighs> Just <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Something happened this weekend that like used to piss me off. Like I used to get so mad when this would happen, but now I'm sort of over it because it happens all the time. And uh, hopefully this happens to you too. Otherwise, this episode is going to be pretty one-sided. <laughs> oh God. Some chick asked me if I was gay. Does Wait. that happen to you too? Do people ask you if I'm gay? Wait, you're not gay? Don't feel bad because I too get accused of being gay. What is that? People are pretty like, <laughs> people feel open to just ask too. Are, are you, you gay? gay? With me, they don't ask. They just assume it and then I find out later. It'll come out <laughs> after, you, after you're friends with them. Like, ooh, I yeah. thought you were gay for the first yeah. eight months. Like, eight months. And f <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it a lot and I haven't gotten it recently, but I did get it quite a bit in college. And first Figure of all, out why. I have gay friends. I like gay people. But when you're not gay and somebody accuses you of being gay, it's like being gay and someone accusing you of being straight. It doesn't feel right. It's different, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get mad though because normally it would happen while I was hitting on chicks. Like I'm actively trying to do the exact opposite of being gay and then those girls think I'm gay. Did like, you twirl up to them? No, here's my classic story. I, was I, I went to this event one time and uh, I started talking to this girl. We had a good conversation for, for 15, 20 minutes. Then the conversation hit a lull as conversations like do happen. Like when you don't know somebody, it's like, well, I guess we're not talking anymore. Right, it gets real awkward. And so then I moved on and started talking to some other chick. Fast forward 12 minutes into that new conversation that was going great, girl one comes back and it's like, so do you want my number or what? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take your number. And she's like, so you're not gay? And I was like, no, we, I mean, the conversation <laughs> just hit a lull. Okay, here's the thing is that when, and I don't know if it's a narcissism thing or maybe it's just a woman thing, but when a guy is, is initiating something and then doesn't go through with the full act of like asking for a date or asking for a number, it's kind of like, what happened? So for a person who might be so into themselves that it's, unbelievable that someone didn't ask for their phone number. Right. He must be gay. Right. Like that, and right. I, I've had that thought before. Really? <laughs> Not because of that, but because of other things. I'll yeah, be like, well maybe, like if I'm making out with a guy and like he stops, I'm like, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> like clearly. <laughs> Like if he stops to breathe or whatever? No, but like <laughs> just like ends and then you, like that's happened to me before. Like I've been making out with guys and then like they in don't public? do anything, yeah. No, Oh. not in public. Conversation thing though is like, make, like sometimes dudes will just talk to you because they want to talk to you and have a conversation. Not every conversation needs to end with me like trying to smash. Right, but you do know that when, when you have, we're dealing with strangers who don't know each other and they're opposite sexes, that is usually the intention is the guy wants to smash. That is usually what the guy wants. Like, why do you just, you don't just randomly start talking to a chick you don't want to smash. I talk to random chicks I don't want to smash all the time. Maybe you are gay. All I know is that most guys, when they talk, start talking to a female stranger, the intent is to try and get some phone numbers or something. One time I, one time I asked a girl like why she thought it was, cause it bothered me. Mm -hmm. And she said, because I'm nice. I articulate when I speak, like my voice, I she said was that. gay, and because I dress nice. But like being nice is like a good thing to be as a person. I'd like, when did that become gay? I'll tell you when, it's because most men are assholes. So when you meet a nice guy, 
he must be gay. Like, that's what, they ask most women, and that's what they'll say. That's pretty sad. Also, how does she not say that you have gay eyes, too? <laughs> she just left that off the checklist? That should have been number one. Why do people think you're gay, Candace? Well, they don't really anymore, I don't think. I've been accused of being gay. Why? <laughs> I've been accused of being gay because I'm not slutty, and I've, you know, I've got female best friends, so like in college, me and my roommate, Adriana, we were really close, and neither one of us was sleeping around, and we were together like all the time. So to society, <laughs> I mean, that college campus, that translated as they must be Scissor sisters? Yeah. I dressed more feminine in college and I got accused of being gay more then than I do now, but I dress really comfortable now because I do stand up and I don't want to dress all prissy and stuff like that when I do stand up. I don't like wearing high heels and I don't like, because I like people to listen to what I'm saying and not look at me. Women dressing comfortable is very confusing to men. I did some shows in Houston in February, and this one guy sent me a message, like it sat with him long enough for him to <laughs> send me a message like a few days later. <laughs> I did notice that you donned that comedic style of clothing with the nondescript t-shirt and Vans. Is that a comfort thing? <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> Which I ignored. I think I have a dispro disproportionate amount of female friends for a straight guy. Oh yeah, that's why people think you're gay. Also, one time we were shopping in Whole Foods and you were like, ooh, when you picked up a pack of food. I do say ooh from time to time. It's a <laughs> reflex now. You know how you, like, you hang out with certain people and you start talking like them? When I hang out with chicks for too long, I start saying stuff like ooh. And bye. Okay, so now we're adding a new segment to the end of the vlogs. And basically it's gonna be questions from you, the audience. Uh, earlier today I took to Snapchat and asked you guys what you think we should talk about. Fives of questions came in and I picked two. <laughs> it was so hard to pick. <laughs> uh, so here's the two questions from the audience. First question is from uh, Adio from Philly. He's out in Philly and he wants to know... Is it audio? Maybe. For some reason, I think he says it not like audio. But his question is, Western Conference Finals, OKC, or Golden State? Who do you have winning? Pick one, Candace. The Bulls. Um, the, the Pacers? <gasps> the Steelers. I want OKC to win. I think Golden State is going to give them a pretty tough fight. Those That's, sports teams? Yes. And the final question... The sports games? The final question is from Steph. And her question is Krispy Kreme versus regular donuts. I don't understand what. Have you never had a Krispy Kreme donut? Okay, first of all, it's not 1997. Have you had one? Calm down. Have you had one? Nigga, yes, of then, course. Then you would know there's a difference between Krispy Kremes and regular donuts. What do you mean regular donuts? Are you talking about like store-bought, you go to like Entenmann's and get store-bought donuts? Or are you talking about donut shops? Donut which there are shops. some really good donut shops. Donut shops. But those to me, like Krispy Kreme to me is a basic donut. Yeah, basically the best donut ever. First of all, they became hugely popular when people first discovered them and then they fell off tremendously. Didn't you notice about how they all just disappeared? Yeah, but they all disappeared because people were getting diabetes. No, because people realized that they were basic. Basic things are the best. No. Vanilla ice cream. Only donut I would take over a Krispy Kreme donut is the donut you get at a fair. Like when they're cooking it right there in front of you. Oh yeah. Those are. Those are amazing. A, a, a level above Krispy Kreme. And I get those with no seasoning at all. Some seasoning? People go, some people go for like cinnamon sugar or like powdered sugar. Uh-uh, just give me the straight fried dough. No Basin. glaze? No, nothing. I need a glaze. So that's your answer, Stephanie. I'm right. Candace is not really into donuts. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Mal and Candace Rants, Reviews, and Randomness. We are here every Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jokes by Candace and at Mal Hall. I thought you were going to say it. No, I, I thought you forgot it. I was like, I thought let you this used bitch forget my, say it. my Instagram again. Is it at Mal Hall? At Mal Hall. And follow me on Snapchat, at Mal Hall Comedy. And Snapchats. So you guys can get your questions in next week. Because sometimes we struggle with topics. Every week. Most of the time. <laughs>